So it's one step forward, two steps back. The interior is out again for now because I'm uh, just sorting out some of the final joists in the van ceiling for the um, uh, front dinette locker to be mounted to, plus uh, the skylight aperture when I get round to being able to afford the 250 quid for the skylight. So the roof's out, or the ceiling's out, and I'll show you what I'm doing. You know this pattern, which I stole off the internet and modified slightly? Well, I'm doing something with the ceiling to tie that pattern in with the interior. Um, I borrowed the neighbour's projector and in a darkened room projected the same design onto the ceiling. And I'm just spending some time now to go over what I did to make it look a bit less shabby and to thicken a couple of the, of the lines that was in the, was, was in the original design, which is here. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a bit different and something nice to stare up at at night. Um, it's just nice to also be reusing the, the old ceiling, so no cost involved, same LED lights and just modernising it to make it look a bit more funky. It's not, uh, it doesn't pass close scrutiny, I'm probably going to be lying in bed of a night going, oh, I did that bit really badly, but I don't know, a bit of fun. Um, tried enamel with a brush, it would have taken forever, so I'm actually just using two different sizes of, of pen. So don't look too close, but that's the update for today. Uh, the girls are away, so I'm in the kitchen and this will go back up and be reinstalled in the van before they get back, I hope. So I'm pressing on with the build, uh, well, pressing on with the furniture, I'm still saving for all the expensive kit, everything seems to be at least 250 quid, um, <laughs> individual items, excluding the fridge which um, is looking like a grand more than that, but um, my 500 pounds worth of wood, uh, the lightweight ply that I've got is going to last me and I think I've got enough for the whole build, which is a relief, because I only bought seven sheets of 15 mil and one of 18 for the door fronts. Um, I've just managed to get hold of some thin, um, thin apply five mil for the lining. So I'm contemplating at this stage, because obviously I've got a lot to do to finish off the things like the lockers, and you know I've got to figure out what I'm painting and what I'm going to laminate with Formica, because I really want to get a nice gloss finish on the overhead lockers particularly um, and yeah the kitchen is still a there's still a bit of a question mark about the kitchen which is why I haven't started on this side of the van just yet um, but yeah things are slightly coming into focus uh, it's nice to have the lockers up front and rear and I've got the LEDs sorted the LED strips sorted above the lockers which is quite nice although I think they're probably going to work better on the front ones than the rear because these these lockers at the back here are going to have to taper slightly which means there'll be less space for up lighting from LEDs um, but the thing I'm figuring trying to figure out at the moment is the bed and you can see I've got I've got markers um, in, the, in the form of post-it notes on the floor to mark how far out the base is going to come, it's going to come to this point, this corner here, and there's a central divider here, right, which I actually might move to line up with the wheel arch. Um, but the key thing is that it's going to come, the base is obviously going to be as high as the countertops on the kitchen side, which means it needs to be as high as the countertops on this, this side, which I've got marked nominally as 900 which is what a standard kitchen unit height is. Um, so it'd be from 900 here, this mark on the poster on that wall, that the central part of the bed base folds down and goes across, it's a Murphy bed effectively, goes across to the other side. So that's 
I forget what that gap is, I've written it somewhere. 855 span across from the kitchen side to, the, to this side. So that's a, that's a big flap <laughs> that's going to be set up there. It's going to come in front of the lockers and then fold down to make the bed base. So it'll be a nice easy bed to make. And there's enough space behind here for three cushions to concertina up to fold out to make the bed base. Um, but it will, it will, you can't see, it will be, it will fold up in front of the lockers. When it's from its flat position to its raised position, it will be in front of the locker doors, which is a shame, something I was trying to avoid. But I can't do anything about that. So, I'm just wondering what to do next. I think I'll probably tidy up this view by doing the ply lining and covering it in the padded grey uh, stretch fabric that I've got and building the base down here on this side which I'm convinced, having measured now about five times is going to be, it's going to fit, it's going to be accurate Hey ho, the joys of self-building doing it like this because um, it's all obviously all custom and one of the biggest factors in terms of margin of error is the single bed base which is going to fold across onto this side uh, plus there's one other thing I'm going to obviously have I'm going to do a, a soft edge on this side of the of all my overhead lockers um, by using a uh, aluminium corner profile. It's a special locker one, which also means that I'll end up having to round this corner as well on the end. And I'm going to use knock-on T-edging, and I'm going to veneer with Formica laminate the fronts of the lockers all the way around in gloss white, and I think probably just paint the underside and the sides the gloss white paint but I want that high gloss finish for it for the sake of reflection so there's going to be quite a lot more cutting to do but it's um, worthwhile getting to this stage where I can fit everything and see that it all
finished doing the rear panels on both sides with this fabric I chose just copying the same sort of arrangement as the back doors and really like it and I've butted them up to a sort of pleather cream coloured pleather padded fake leather panel which is nice and soft to the touch because obviously this will be part of the side of the main double bed uh, when it's made up and uh, put a little recess in there probably just for spices or something like that needs a bit of tidying up but you get the idea I've got to do some stitching at the back there I think to hold the fabric back around the back um, and I'll put these in I think probably where they're going to end up permanently um, I just need to find the bezel for that one but um, I love the way it embosses into the into the scrim um, also wired up a couple of dimmers this one's for the uh, mood lighting the indirect LEDs and the other ones for the spots in the ceiling and that's the finished cabinet well I say finished it's it's up there permanently it's wired and uh, everything's working I just need to put some handles on but they've come out really nicely I think I mean the edges are a bit rough and ready with the knock-on edging but do the job and they're secure which is the most important thing like I say they just need handles to permanently mount them but nice reflection in the gloss white and I like the fake wood veneer just to break up the grey um, and it's the same on the other lockers as well so they look pretty smart I think especially with the LED lighting <laughs> 